Hi, my name is Monica Halleck and this is a project for cell biology and today I'm going to be talking about the fission and fusion of mitochondria. So many cells undergo fission, which is one cell dividing into two separate cells, but not many cells undergo fusion, which is two cells combining into one cell, complete opposite. So mitochondria is an organelle found in many cells and it undergoes the fission fusion cycle quite regularly. And what it is, it's just many mitochondria coming together to create one big new mitochondria. So for this example, we have a nice healthy mitochondria and a stressed mitochondria. And those combine together or fuse to, to create a nice new mitochondria that has um, all of the content of the two original mitochondria spread throughout it. And then this mitochondria can also undergo fusion again with a damaged mitochondria. And then these two can combine and create a nice new mitochondria which has aspects of all three of the original mitochondria in it, and the contents are, contents are spread equally throughout the mitochondria itself. Um, now, the control aspect of the fusion fission cycle is that any damaged or stressed out parts that are just are not performing, that aren't up to par, are moved to one side of the mitochondria. And then these are able to undergo fission, and the damaged area can be removed and labeled to be destroyed and recycled in the cell. So um, that is how the mitochondria gets rid of any parts that are not working. That also will happen for the healthy mitochondria and they will get removed and they will be removed and distributed to other areas that need the mitochondria. That is the fission fusion cycle of mitochondria. It constantly will combine and divide in order to regulate the mitochondria so that it works at the optimal level. It will get rid of any of the damaged parts and distribute any of the healthy parts.